Welcome, today we'll be going through the DOMS box and the interface on the LED display specifically. So you can see there on the left, W and M with the down arrow and service with an up. Now those arrows are the arrow keys you can see down here and that's OK and yes. So we're going to be talking specifically about the service. So what we'll do is we'll click up, it'll initialize the service menu, it takes a second. Then information one. So all of these menus have a number associated with them so that if you can't remember the name, all you have to remember is the number. Now, what we'll do is we'll go into installation. Now we'll go through one of the most common ones, which is the network settings. So if you don't know the IP for your DOMS box and you need to, you go into two, down to communication, right again to go into it. Your first one there will be TCP IP setup. You click right again, that gives you the IP address. Then after that, you can go right again, and it will go, do you want to use DHCP? Now, if you're not familiar with what DHCP is, basically that means that it will pick up an address if there's one available, and go from there. Now, by default, our boxes will not use DHCP. They're enabled to be just static, is the term for when it's not using DHCP. Now, that's so that FlexiFuel, which is the fuel program that shows the pumps, knows exactly where to look for your controller, in this case, the DOMS box. So you would turn that off, but if you've changed router and it's not on the network, what we might ask you to do is enable this. So you change it to yes, click OK, and it would enable DHCP. Now we might ask you to do that, and then what will happen is we'll get into the box, get in a FlexiFuel, reconfigure it, and then change this back to being off. So that's how to do your IP, your network. Now what we'll talk about is the reset. So if I go down to full, reset, and then right click. I've got the option to soft reset, which is just to reset the board. Now, if I click right again, it's now going to ask me, do you want to soft reset, which is when the question marks there. So you click OK. It's saying, OK, resetting. You give it up to a minute. Typically, it's far quicker than that. It's usually about 10 to 15 seconds. And it will come back online with that initial menu that we were looking at before. So that's how you reset your box. And you can see there, it's just come back up. So we'll click up again and go into the service menu. So you've got information, that's information about the DOMS itself. You've got installation, which is date, time, communications, yada, yada, yada. We already talked about the TCP IP or the communication. You've got operation, there's nothing in that menu at the moment. There is, if it's been fully configured, this box is a demo unit. Reset, so you've got a couple of actual options in there. Instead of just soft, there's master resets and super master resets. Those are not recommended unless you've been asked specifically to do so, all right? Make sure you don't do that without talking to us first. Diagnostics, so that will have a list of forecourt devices and an online list. We'll also have errors, so I can see all my recent errors. I've had none, systems working correctly. Now, if I'm specifically checking for a one-off device, what I can do is go into my online list and select a port. So along the right here, you've got all the ports, and each port will be linked to a device. Some of these will be cards for the pumps, some will be cards for other things, but that's how you can test them. So what we do is port 11, which is this one just here, has nothing in it. So it's gonna go through. Right now it's going port 11, can't find anything. Try again, port 11, can't find anything. Port 11. Rinse and repeat. Now, if there was something plugged in, it would eventually tell me, hey, I've received data from the device, but there's nothing there, so that's ex behaving exactly as I would expect. Device errors, I just demonstrated, and price poll, we don't have set up, so that's that. System logs are in there as well, and so are peripheral information. If there's any questions on any of that, please call us on 1-800-020-946. If this helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.